solve this initial value problem and we have two initial conditions or boundary conditions you can rewrite this question as both are the same step number one write out the standard form of a second order ordinary differential equation this is a standard form it can be written like this or like this both are the same step number two compare the given problem to the standard form from the standard form a is a and from the given question a is one similarly from the standard form b is a hence b is also one, though not written from the standard form y is a y is a hence c is equal minus six step number three from the general formula of a quadratic equation form the characteristic or auxiliary equation of the differential equation this is the general formula of quadratic equation however instead of using x we usually use m next is i will substitute my a b c into this quadratic equation a here is one b here is one but it will not be written this becomes the characteristic equation of the differential equation or the auxiliary equation of the differential equation step number four use any quadratic equation formula or method to solve this however you have known the value of your a your b and your c if you solve that you're going to get two for m1 and for m2 you're going to get minus three you can use factorization method or formula method or completing the square method just to get any of these answers step number five introduce the general solution considering the root condition here we have real and distinct roots because two is not equal to three that means from case one two three i'm going to choose case one for real and distinct roots next after introducing the general solution i will substitute for my m1 and m2 this becomes my final answer for the general solution of the differential equation however i have a boundary condition i will use the initial condition to replace for my a and for my b which leads us to step number six step number six consider the initial condition the first initial condition and this is the second initial condition so i will start by considering the first one this first one states at x is equal to zero y is equal to one hence my y is one and my x is zero so from what's supposed to be my final answer my y is one and my x is zero anything to the power of zero is one hence one times a is a and one times b is b here i'm going to make a the subject formula and i will call it equation one step number seven consider the second initial condition that the first derivative of y is equal to zero at x equal to zero this condition gave us equation one hence we're going to consider this to give us the next equation and because of this derivative we need to differentiate this which is supposed to be our final answer if we differentiate this you're going to have that dy over dx 
is equal to differentiating this you're going to have 2a exponential plus this will give you minus 3b exponential minus 3x next we substitute at x equals 0 y prime is equal 0 and this becomes our equation 2 next from equation 1 replace a which is this so instead of a i will put 1 minus b solving this carefully you see that your b is 2 over 5 and your a is 3 over 5. step number 8 i will go to my final general solution i will replace a and b which is in this general solution hence i will substitute for a and for b and this becomes my final answer all these steps was simply to replace a and b i will see you in the next video